am advanced fitness and wellness specialist Kimberly Liu and welcome to my Foodie Fridays. You know, I have a very, very, very busy schedule. And you know, a lot of times if I don't prepare or I don't plan my meals, it takes me off my course. You know, I suffer from some autoimmune disorders and irritable bowel and a lot of those digestive disorders caused from stress from a long time ago. And so what happens is, is a lot of times I think, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just get something at the store, but then they don't have anything that's anti-inflammatory for my stomach. And so I end up having to grab something because I'm super hungry and then it takes me off my course. My stomach's in pain for a couple days, maybe up to a week. And then I, it's almost like I have to start all over again. Also, when you're on a weight loss and fitness program, a lot of times lack of preparation and planning is the one thing that takes people off their game. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you a couple tricks on how to prepare your week, and then that way you can have a program that you're successful in. Let's get started. Okay, here we go, we're gonna get started. One of the most important things to have in your refrigerator is protein, like chicken, steak, fish but you wanna make sure that it's cooked. You know, I hate cooking. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to go to Whole Foods and you can get a whole cooked organic chicken for $10. You can go to Costco and get a whole cooked chicken for $6. And it's one of the most important things to have in your refrigerator because what happens is you start to get hungry. It takes 30 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes to cook something. So you wanna make sure that you have cooked protein in your refrigerator and what that'll do is it'll help you stay on track. Next, you wanna make sure that you've cooked your carbs for the week right now. What I have is my uh, yams, my potatoes, I love potatoes, and I have my vegetable. Now this is a well-rounded, perfect meal, and, and it's, it's anti-inflammatory. These are all wonderful ingredients to help when you have digestive disorders. One of the main focus that I wanna do for this cooking show is to give you healthy, fast solutions that are anti-inflammatory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our food and we're gonna start. Now, what you wanna have is you wanna have your proteins, your carbs, your veggies, and I put a little bit of olive oil on here, a little bit of olive oil on here and rosemary, however you wanna make it, but just make sure it's nice and prepared. Then I have a link down below, you can go to Amazon and get these little containers. These are wonderful. And what I'll do is I put my food in these containers and then I put a few in my refrigerator and a few in my freezer. And these are really good. So we're gonna start first with our chicken. You wanna take your chicken, <laughs> it's all nasty, love it. Okay, so you're just gonna take it out. I should have an apron, but I don't. I'm gonna go get one. And then you just start to debone it, okay? Take the skin off. I like to do it with my hands. My hands are nice and clean. We wanna take this fat off. Although, you know, I'm not afraid of fat. And I'm just gonna cut it and get it all off. I love to use my fingers when I'm cooking. It's just so much easier for me. Made it, maybe it doesn't look as pretty, but that is okay. And I'm gonna take these legs off here. I'm just gonna get it off. I'm gonna take the bone, the skin off. My beautiful chicken. Okay, make sure you don't cut your fingers. Okay, I have deboned both chickens. You have your protein, your carbohydrates, and your vegetable along with a little bit of fat. You're gonna grab your tubs. Now we have enough for the week. So we just start putting them all in here. I'm gonna bring this up here. And we'll put our, as a matter of fact, let me just put these over here. So you want about a half a cup of carbs and about three to four ounces of chicken. You can weigh it if you don't feel confident and you want your veggies. So there's a beautiful meal right there. That's one meal. I'm gonna put these over here. Now I always do this with my hands. It's just super quick and easy to go. You can always use utensils if you feel better with that and a little bit of there's another meal. Good, and you just keep doing that 
until you have all of your meals prepared. Now, a good thing that you can do too, is if you're like, Kim, I don't want chicken every meal. I don't want potatoes every meal. You can do different um, proteins. You can do tuna fish. You can do steak. You can do whatever you want to. And on Sunday, you can make enough for a couple of days and then you can make some chicken or you can just get some whole already made. I know when you go to Whole Foods, they already have already cooked beef. They have already cooked fish. They have already cooked chickens. And so that's what I bank my schedule on. So there's your meals for the week. Nice and pretty. Just put your little lids on. I'm so happy I don't have to do this again <laughs> until next week. You can also do this with breakfast. You can make yourself a little quiche with some eggs. You can do it with lunch. You can get salads and I'll show you some new recipes every week to help you have quick and easy recipes that are anti-inflammatory. So there you have it, your meals for the week. Now what I like to do is because again, there's a lot of chicken here, so I'll take probably four of these and put them in the freezer, and then I'll take three and put them in the refrigerator, and then each week I build enough for seven, but I always have some extra in the refrigerator. So for now, I have steak in the freezer right now, so I'll have, I'll pull out three steaks, and then I have three chickens, and there's my meal for the week. So there you have it, simple, easy solutions to a fast-paced lifestyle. Now, I'm Kimberly Liu, and if this video helped you out in any way, please press like and subscribe, and remember, you don't have to do this alone. We're gonna work it out together.